good morning from the Disney bus stop. My bus is actually here, so I'm gonna go get on the bus and then explain to you guys what we're doing today. Let me explain as I sit king of the bus here at the back of the bus. Came to Disney Springs because parking is free at Disney Springs, and today is going to be a free Disney day where we go around and look at all the different decorations at the different resorts. Today is also National Gingerbread Day, so one of the things that is at all of the resorts are giant gingerbread displays and gingerbread houses. So that's one of the things that we're gonna be looking at today. At Grand Florida Day, we'll show you all of this once we get there. They sell shingles from the outside of the house where the shape of the ones that are on the outside of their gingerbread house made out of gingerbread. So we're gonna be eating gingerbread. We'll be checking out decorations. Let's do it. King of the bus. King of the bus. King of the bus. First stop, the Grand Floridian. We've got a giant gingerbread house in here that actually doubles as a store where you can buy gingerbread. This isn't the gingerbread house, this is a Cadillac. It's a very nice Cadillac, made out of metal, not gingerbread. They have these very elegant streams of garland out front hanging from the roof or the ceiling. Oh my goodness, as soon as we walk in, we are bombarded with the smell of gingerbread and cookies. And look at this tree and the garland all around. Wow, this is beautiful. I feel like the theme of this Christmas tree here in the middle of the Grand Floridian is kind of elegant. It's got swans and velvet bows all over it and various other flowers and stuff like that. A lot of gold and silver and blue. These are the Christmas ornaments that were bad this year. And then here is the gingerbread house with all kinds of little gingerbread figures and chocolate figures all over the place. The other thing you have to look out for when you're looking at the gingerbread house is all of the hidden Mickeys. We'll find out how many hidden Mickeys there are, but there's one of them right there. You can kind of see into the gingerbread house over there. It is an actual retail location where you can buy various treats and gingerbread cookies. Here's a little description. I guess it's not a description. It's just kind of showing how they're building the house and how they did it. There's a little sign over here that shows how much of each ingredient they used to build the house. Tons of creativity, Disney magic and pixie dust. I think the most interesting part is that they used a thousand pounds of honey. Where do you get a thousand pounds of honey? And why is the majority of this house is made of honey? Fun fact, when they're done with the house for the season, they disassemble it and take it out to a field and pressure wash off all the cookies and sugar and everything and use that to feed the bees that they keep on property here. A couple more hidden Mickeys for you. Actually, a lot more hidden Mickeys for you. Oh, that one's kind of like behind the thing. It's hard to tell that it's a hidden Mickey. Here's some more pictures of them making the gingerbread that makes up the house. I did want to show you this line because a little tip for you guys. You can buy treats other than gingerbread, but for the most part, I think people are here buying gingerbread. If you, instead of going into this line, kind of turn and go over here to Sandy Cove, and then inside of Sandy Cove, you can buy a gingerbread house, you can buy a gingerbread Mickey, or a gingerbread shingle, which is exactly the type of stuff that you can get from the gingerbread house. Oh, these are like gingerbread Christmas ornaments. How neat is that? I wonder if these would last being on your Christmas tree. I don't know, but they're very cool. Well, you can also get a whole packet of gingerbread cookies, like smaller gingerbread cookies, chocolate covered ones too. So I found out some prices. This is $80. This is $9. This is $9. The larger Christmas ornament is $15 and the smaller is only 10. Or for eight, you can get a gingerbread cookie kit with a couple of gingerbread cookies in there shaped like Mickey Mouse, and then some decorating utensils and uh, frosting and sprinkles and stuff like that. I thought about getting the Mickey Mouse, but for the same price, you get way more gingerbread with the shingle. This was $9.58 after tax. They told me I don't get a discount with my annual pass, but the line has moved kind of a lot since we went in there, but this only took me about like, I don't know, three minutes to buy. Let's give this gingerbread a try. Smells really good. I think my favorite part is that there's chocolate on the bottom. I think that that really makes this gingerbread better than any other gingerbread I've ever had. I'm having a very hard time getting it out of the bag, so I'm just kind of like stalling with my talking. Oh, hold on, let's see how it tastes. That's pretty good. I've had gingerbread cookies before, and I think that that's the difference between this and what I've had before is this is actual gingerbread. It's very soft, kind of chewy, like a dense bread, but still sweet because of the chocolate. 
I don't know, is there a difference? I'm sure there is a difference between gingerbread and gingerbread cookies. Let me know in the comments down below if that's what it is, if there's, you know, gingerbread and gingerbread cookies, two different things. And why isn't gingerbread as popular as a gingerbread cookie? Oh, so here's the backside of the gingerbread house. Who's Cosmo up there? And why is his present on top of the, up in the attic? Here's a look at some of the other treats that they have available at the actual gingerbread house that aren't available over in the gift shop where we just bought our gingerbread. I don't know what any of that stuff is, but it all looks very delicious. Especially this cake pop looking tree thing. I didn't realize that this is the 20th anniversary of the gingerbread house. This is the 20th year they've had this in the lobby of the Grand Floridian. Came up to the second floor to give you guys a bird's eye view of the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree. I think it's kind of interesting. They had so much more room above the Christmas tree to go to the ceiling, but I think that would have made the base way too massive for this area. Bird's eye view, getting a sneak peek at all the different sweets they have stored in the back of the gingerbread house. There's a chimney. You guys see anything else interesting down there as far as the gingerbread house goes? Oh, look, there's Santa. Who? They're making Christmas Mickey bars of soap inside a basin. I think either up here on the second level or down on the first level, kind of back here rather than all the way up against the Christmas tree is a good spot for like family Christmas photos. Like look at this shot right here. Just put your family right there, Photoshop them in, send it out to your family. In M Mouse Mercantile, they do have some holiday offerings as far as regular merchandise and stuff like that. They don't sell the shingles up here, but they do have decorations in the windows. Next stop, the monorail over to the Contemporary. I feel like somebody's singing somewhere too. The five-legged goat says Merry Christmas. New this year, the contemporary gingerbread house normally is here, gingerbread art, it's not really a house. It's normally here in front of this mural right here, but because of added security measures to get on the monorail, they have moved it so as not to create a backup. So now, if you just turn around backwards, and go straight through the Fantasia or around the Fantasia gift shop, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go around it and head back to the gingerbread art. It's a castle, not a gingerbread house, a gingerbread castle. So it's got Cinderella, Prince Charming, the fairy godmother, a gigantic castle, a Christmas tree with gingerbread cookie men all over it, and they're in front of the Small World facade, which actually has a real working clock and the small world face on it. Here's some facts about this one. Way more flour than there was uh, honey in the other one. But they, they switched it up on me. They said 437 jars of honey rather than pounds of honey. This one says there are 18 hidden Mickeys on this. Uh, does this one count as a hidden Mickey? I'm assuming that all of those are not hidden Mickeys unless that's it. Those are all 18 of them right there. Ooh, I found that one right there. All right, I'm gonna count that as number two. Oh, okay, they are real tiny to see. So we're looking for really, really, really tiny hidden Mickeys in this one. They also have Cinderella's glass slipper on display. There is a gingerbread hut over here that sells some of the same gingerbread treats as over in the Grand Floridian. You can get a gingerbread boy for $6. Got some tea cookies here. Well, oh, they got a gluten-free gingerbread boy. Cinderella cake pop. The, oh, these shingles are shaped a little bit different because they're from the Contemporary. This chocolate peppermint cookie looks amazing for $5.50. Wow, there's a lot of delicious looking stuff here. Fantastic. Whoa, you can get a white chocolate Cinderella for $25. Wow, what is this? The Bibbidi Bobbidi Bunt Cake. I love the puns here, it comes with a tiny fork. A gingerbread gelato and a candy cane gelato. Oh, and then for Mickey's birthday, you can get this gigantic Rice Krispie treat cake 
They also have frozen apple cider and frozen hot chocolate here. This is not a hollow piece of white chocolate Cinderella. This is a solid Cinderella. They said they carve it out of a brick of white chocolate. This gingerbread shingle has like an imprint of Cinderella's glass slipper on it, but also there's no chocolate on the back of it. And a little bit cheaper, $6.50 rather than $9 from the Grand Floridian. So I couldn't help myself and I noticed directly next to the gingerbread display at Fantasia Market, they have some cat trivia. Who is Simba's best friend? Depending on what time of his life it is, I mean, I would consider Nala his best friend, or is it Timon and Pumbaa? Which one is it, Timon or Pumbaa? What color bow does Marie wear? Well, that's easy, that's pink. What is the name of Minnie's cat, Figaro? What type of cat is Raja, a tiger? Which Disney movie is Lucifer from, Cinderella? What 1920s short did Pete the Cat first appear? I have no idea. I was too distracted with cat facts that I totally almost missed this contemporary resort Christmas time step and repeat. There's a little, oh no, in this display, the fairy godmother's not there. <gasps> oh dear. The other gift shop, BVG, we've got a lot of Christmas ornaments and Christmas decorations and stuff for you to buy. Oh, what kind of different Christmas treats do we have over here? Oh, okay. I'm not really seeing any. Christmas treats. Oh, here we go. You can get some cookies down here. But that seems to be about it. Everything else is still for Mickey's birthday. Not quite Christmas yet. You can get a turkey leg, a Rice Krispie Treat turkey leg. There definitely are Christmas decorations all over the resort as far as trees and wreaths and garland go. But the main Christmas tree is actually outside. So we have to head down to the first floor. You can see the check-in desk is all decorated for Christmas and the various Christmas trees around the resort. There really are Christmas trees all over the resort. I'm wondering how many Christmas trees Disney has just at the contemporary or all around the resort. I think that'd be an interesting number to know. So we came out the front door of the main lobby and now we are heading out here to the end of this, I don't know what you would call this, like a entryway area, but you gotta be careful because this is a road where like buses and cars do drive. So be careful when you're coming out here to see the Christmas tree. Like I said, cars just drive through here. It's kind of like drives through the path where I'm gonna be over there looking at the Christmas tree. Ah yes, a murder of Christmas crows flying through. Truly a Christmas miracle. Anyways, there is the tree. That is the tree for the contemporary. This is very large. I had to come out a little bit closer to the street to get a full view of the Christmas tree with the contemporary in the background. It's a very large tree and it looks beautiful at night. But like I said, you gotta be careful. There are cars everywhere out here and I am right next to the road where cars would be driving by. Here's something that I think that I would be interested in if I were a better photographer. Magic Kingdom's fireworks launch kind of brings the fireworks so they're kind of exploding somewhere around this region here. I think that setting up here at night to get the Christmas tree with some firework explosions and a long exposure would be pretty awesome. I'm thinking maybe from right here. So here's the tree. I think the fireworks would end up being right around here somewhere in the sky. Cinderella Castle's kind of right there behind those trees. Can't really see it. If I move to the side just a little bit, you might be able to see some of the spires over there. But yeah, I'd be interested to see some photographs from this area, some long exposures of the fireworks. All right, I think that's all of the decorations here from the Contemporary. This is where we were for Destination D just a few days ago, and I didn't notice this, but this is the carpet from The Shining, just with a different color, right? Heading out the back of the Contemporary Resort, headed out to the docks. It is an absolutely marvelous day to be out on the water. It's beautiful out here today. It is 76 degrees, Sunny, cool breeze blowing, still wearing shorts. Yeah, Florida. I love it. I may have been confused. There's not a gingerbread house over at Wilderness Lodge. That was the Grand Californian out in California that I was thinking of. We're not going there. We're heading over to the beach club. I'm gonna have to ask somebody how to get there. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll have to take an Uber. I don't know. You guys know how it is. Sometimes I make mistakes. It's actually quite often that I make mistakes, but at least I tell you guys that I made a mistake. I can't believe I did that. That was over in California. So I figured out how we're gonna get to the beach club. We're gonna walk over to Magic Kingdom, hop on a bus there, because there are no resort to resort buses. So you can't take a bus from Contemporary to Beach Club, but we can walk over to Magic Kingdom, get on the bus there, go to Beach Club. Or if you want to, you can take the shortest bus ride ever from here 
just across the street to Magic Kingdom. In case anybody's wondering where the walkway to the Magic Kingdom is from the Contemporary, if you just come right out the main lobby door and turn like you're heading towards the bus stop, and then just keep walking, you should see a sign here that says walkway to Magic Kingdom. And then we walk across the street and go through bag check, and then hop over to the bus stop. Just wanted to point this out real quick before we cross the street. When we were showing off the construction for the Tron coaster, some people were leaving comments saying, just ride the monorail. You should get a good view of it from the monorail because they saw this beam running past the Tron coaster. And that is not a guest beam. That is just the beam that takes the monorails back to their storage barn, which is back behind Space Mountain. See, monorail just goes that away and towards Magic Kingdom. We made it to Magic Kingdom. Oh, well, we're not going in Magic Kingdom. We are turning this way and heading over to the buses. You know, we are looking for bus stop number 15. Just wanted to point out that there is a minivan stop here on this bus board because if you order a minivan, it comes and picks you up here at the bus stop rather than any other taxi that will pick you up over at TTC. I do want to point out that we could have gone over to Wilderness Lodge and looked at their decorations because they have a very large and magnificent Christmas tree in the middle of their lobby, but it would have been much more difficult to get back over here to go to Yacht and Beach Club. So I think this was sort of like, we're keeping with the idea of it being National Gingerbread Cookie Day and looking at more gingerbread stuff. As I'm passing by the bus stop for Swan and Dolphin Hotels, I wanted to tell you guys, starting November 23rd, Swan and Dolphin is going to have Vacation Santa, where he's in his Hawaiian shirt, his shorts, and he's meeting you in a tiki hut. That'd be awesome. So here we are. I actually got off at the Yacht Club, but they're, they're attached to each other. So we're just gonna walk over to the Beach Club where the actual display is. But we can stop off at the Yacht Club and check out their Christmas tree. It's nice. I like this Christmas tree. It's got yachts all over it. I don't know if these are yachts. This is a sailboat. This is a Chris Craft. I think my favorite thing is that this one plugs into the ceiling because it comes so close to the ceiling. It's nice. All kinds of nautical themes, like this Nautilus. What else? Huh? I don't know. That seems like it would be a yacht. What is the definition of a yacht? Is there like a specific size that it has to be? Whoa, look at this thing. Some sort of wayfinding device. The other thing they have in the lobby of the Yacht Club is this train set. None of this is made of edible material, but it's still really interesting to see. So you got Santa down there. We got some fairy dust up here. There's a Mickey on top of that Christmas tree. All kinds of Mickey gumball machines. We got Anna and Elsa in there. Oh, and then there's a cars section over here. And then Minnie's Bakery. Oh, there's Mickey and Minnie ice skating back there. They're making Mickey snowmen. Oh, there it is. The Disney Skyliner. They also have signs around for the different bars and restaurants around the Yacht Club. Hurricane Hannah's Grill is actually the pool bar. And we've got different houses, stuff like that, around the village here. Oh, they're doing some, like fancy ice skating here in the town square. Oh, Toy Town. It's pretty neat. Lots and lots. Oh, and there's Cruise Cup, one of our favorite places in the Yacht Club, because they have some delicious french fries. A little log cabin up here. And then we're back here at the beginning. Oh my goodness. I didn't see Dumbo in there before. There he is. There's Dumbo. Headed over to the beach club to see the gingerbread carousel. Oh, only 36 pounds of honey. We're all over the place with the amount of honey that are in these things. Oh, the yacht not. It is not a yacht. Or is it? It's very tiny. Here's Cruise Cup. That is where I just said was the best french fries. Let me give you guys a real quick look at the menu. Where are they? Oh no, where are they? I don't see them. I hope they didn't get rid of the truffle fries because those were delicious. There it is. The official separation between Yacht Club and Beach Club. We are now at the Beach Club. We are heading into the lobby of the Beach Club and just on the other side of that Christmas tree is their gingerbread carousel. Their gingerbread carousel made entirely, well not entirely, mostly out of gingerbread. And then here is some information about it. Nineteen hidden Mickeys. So the idea is to try to find all of the hidden Mickeys. And you can see there's one right there, just underneath where it says Donald Duck on the white horse. So there's one on that Louie box. There's one right behind it there. There's one right here on this gray horse. 
So these are the hidden Mickeys, not necessarily this one that we're looking for. We're looking for these gold stamps. And I will tell you guys, if you are on the search for them, definitely try to look on the back of the horses and then on their hooves. This one's wearing high heel shoes. And I would imagine maybe there's one on this one here. I really like this Christmas tree that they made out of chocolate. I think this horse is made entirely out of chocolate. I think those, all of the horses are made out of chocolate, which is really impressive. Then also, if you're looking for more hidden Mickeys, make sure to look up on the roof here and on these shingles around the outside. There they are, Donald and Daisy. Oh my goodness. I love these little, like Santa and Rudolph and the Christmas tree on the side here. Also, that is most definitely a hidden Mickey, right? All right, let's head into the Beach Club Marketplace and see what kind of special holiday treats they have. Looks like we're still doing Mickey's birthday cupcakes. Well, we've got some pumpkin cupcakes up here too. Whoop, pumpkin whoopie pie. Wow, I have never seen that before in my life. Kind of looks good. Oh, okay. This is their gingerbread shingle here. A lot smaller and it looks like it has some form of sugar on the top of it but has the chocolate on the back 650 here as well a lot smaller feels a lot oh no it's still like squishy like gingerbread and then they've got is this a also oh yeah gingerbread mickey this one is completely covered with chocolate and has a mickey face on it they also have a fruit cake also 650 so all of this stuff up here was six dollars and fifty cents not as big as the one at contemporary i wonder what it tastes like with this stuff on it. I'm kind of gingerbreaded out after I ate that entire shingle from Grand Floridian. They also have peppermint bark. Look at the design on the back of this. That looks so cool. Uh, this one's ten dollars. Ten dollars for this little bit of peppermint bark. I don't know that's pretty pretty expensive. They have this holiday paint your own sugar cookie that comes with a little paintbrush and then all these different colors and you can paint mini like they've done here. I don't is this, do you have to like get this wet and then painted? I wonder if there's instructions on it. No, no instructions, but I'm assuming that's what you do is you get these wet and then you use those to fill in the artwork. So I think that is all of the gingerbread houses slash decorations as of right now. I think the boardwalk resort is supposed to also have a gingerbread house, but from what they were saying inside, it's not up yet. We're gonna go over there and check and see if it is just in case it went up last night because that the Grand Floridian's Christmas tree actually did go up last night. So if you came yesterday, Grand Floridian didn't have a Christmas tree up, but because we came today, it did. With this transition, we are now on boardwalk property. Well, I guess we were in a transition area. Now we are officially on the boardwalk because it's made of wood. This is, we're walking on boards. Wow, look at all these decorations here. I wonder if there's any sort of theme here as far as Christmas tree goes. It just kind of feels kind of vintage-y, doesn't it? Very traditional looking. Let's have a look in the boardwalk lobby, see if they've got anything for their gingerbread house. Doesn't look like it. Definitely have a lot of Christmas decorations up and a lot of trees. They too have two trees here and here. And they actually have a sign that says happy holidays because I think that this is the sign that they put up around their gingerbread house. Maybe over here, I can't remember where it goes. But yeah, no gingerbread house here, just Christmas decorations. And still the most frightening chairs in the world. Holy macaroni, that's scary. So there you have it. Happy National Gingerbread Cookie Day. Even though we didn't have any gingerbread cookies, we had gingerbread, but no gingerbread cookies. We got to see a lot, a lot of holiday decorations, but we mostly focused on gingerbread because there are three locations that have gingerbread type structures in them. Boardwalk is supposed to, maybe. So all in all, super festive, lots of gingerbread cookies, delicious gingerbread. Oh, also, this was a mostly free Disney day. We spent $9 on a piece of gingerbread. Other than that, free. Didn't pay for parking, didn't pay for the buses, didn't pay to go to any of these resorts. Had a wonderful Christmas day. So, with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Jason Smith, and now it's time to pay the price.